S4 and S6 consoles offer exceptionally powerful control over every aspect of your mix. Whether adjusting color-coded encoders or motorized faders, users can create customized maps for plugins, sends, and even immersive panners, offering a truly predictable and familiar interface to creatively sculpt audio. With Yukon 2021.6, Custom Maps offers a higher level of control and integration for those wanting to optimize the surface based on their plugin tools of choice. Let's start by attentioning the Cessna track up to the master module, which is a multi-channel ambience. This track contains several plugin inserts, including AudioEase Altiverb. We can simply press the encoder next to Altiverb to expose all of its control parameters. If we touch Custom, we can now select the type of map we want to create, including knobs on the master module, 4x8 expand maps for knob modules, or custom fader maps. For this example, we're going to create our unique control interface for Altiverb using the faders. The system has illuminated all the mappable modules in purple. Simply touch a fader to start defining the custom fader map. Let's start with the most important controls first, including reverb time. Simply touch the virtual encoder in the center of the master module to select time, then touch the fader to place it on. You can immediately interact with the parameter in the map once you've placed it onto the faders. Parameters can be populated onto the desk in any order you choose. If we want to place the mix percentage down on the eighth fader, we can repeat the last process, giving us immediate control over the wet dry blend of the space. Multiple parameters can even be selected and then cascaded down onto the faders. Simply touch to highlight the desired virtual encoders, then touch the fader to define the location to start building from. Included in the fader control section is a dedicated switch to bypass the current insert. Simply press the green OK switch located on the eighth fader strip to toggle the plugin in or out of the signal flow, indicated with dimmed LEDs. The local bypass provides a great way for the operator to quickly determine if the processor is contributing positively to the mix. To add additional parameters to the map, we need to first add another page. Simply touch Add under the Page Action section on the master module. Unlimited pages can be added to the fader maps, and important parameters can be placed on multiple pages to facilitate better contextual control. Let's add mix percentage to the same location, fader 8, on page 2, so we can blend while we tweak the parameters contained on this page. Let's add some of the EQ parameters from Altiverb, starting with the low frequency gain. Simply swipe from right to left to expose additional parameters beyond the first 16 visible. If we touch EQ low frequency to add next, you can see the system has presented us with a question. We can either add the parameter and access its secondary parameter, Q, by pressing the select switch above the fader, or we can tear off single parameters and place them on their own faders. Let's do the latter. Touch Always Primary, EQ Low Frequency to isolate frequency at its own location. We can touch the same encoder again, but this time choose Q to provide a dedicated fader. If you need to modify or adjust the location of an existing parameter, simply touch a new control, then touch the same location to write over it. If we want control over the surround channel contributions of our Altiverb space, we can add the fronts, rears, center, and LFE bleed to the top of the page. When you're finished making changes, simply touch Done near the bottom of the page to finalize the map. Custom fader maps offer precision control for simple tweaks or dynamic automation of plugins and other functions. Our custom map for Altiverb allows us to access it for tracks of any width in our session, instantly providing predictable and powerful control over our convolution spaces.